In this video, we are going to see about data link layer addressing concepts in computer networks. These are the few references. Link layer address is also known as physical address that is used in the data link layer of the TCP IP architecture. And it is also uh, known as MAC address, hardware address, all these represents same. And the size of the address depends on the underlying technology. For example, if Ethernet is used, 48-bit MAC address scheme is used. Uh, a sample 48-bit uh, uh, Ethernet MAC address would be uh, like this. A1 colon D4 colon FF colon 45 colon 78 colon 12. So by looking at this, we can guess it is based on hexadecimal. So each hexadecimal digit represents 4 bits. So totally 48-bit address. So this uh, diagram shows the link layer address for a router. So we could see here, this is router 1, router 2. Uh, router 1 is having three interfaces. Router 2 is also having three interfaces. So N for uh, in short, it represents IP address. L represents link layer address. So for a router, we could see L3, L4, L2. Three link layer addresses are given for each of the interfaces. And N2, N3, N4. Three IP addresses are given for each of these interfaces. And similarly for R2. But when we look at the laptop, that is the end machine host, that is assigned with one link layer address and one network layer address. So the hosts will have only one link layer address and one network layer address. But the routers, the connecting devices will have uh, number of addresses equal to the number of interfaces in it. So that concept we can remember here. So now, do we need more than one IP address in a router, one for each interface? Is it really required? Yes, it is really required because we can think this in an analogy like there is a house. Uh, that house is connecting two streets. Uh, maybe we can think that house is in the corner of uh, uh, the junction points of two streets. So that uh, house may have two entrances, two gates. And uh, for each street, it may be referred with a different door number. So in that analogy, we can map this router. So for each of these interfaces, it requires one address pertaining to that particular interface. So this interface is connected to this shaded park. This is a network. And this interface is connected to this network. So for each of the network, it needs one specific address. And here we have another network this side that was not mentioned here. So this router is having three interfaces. It requires three pairs of addresses. Now, there are three types of uh, MAC addresses, unicast, multicast, and broadcast. Unicast means one to one. Multicast means one to many. May be useful for group communication. Broadcast means one to all. Irrespective of any condition, we are uh, uh, sending to all, that is broadcast. So always unicast MAC address uh, will have the <coughs> first uh, part in the hexadecimal notation end with odd number. 
so we could say uh, the eighth bit the eighth bit is one means that is unicast if the eighth bit is even that is zero means that is multicast so we could say the second hexadecimal digit is even means that is a multicast address the second hexadecimal digit is an odd number means that is unicast address broadcast means all ones okay so it is all f now how many ip addresses and how many link layer addresses should a router have when it is connected to five links so the router is having five interfaces so how many ip addresses required for this router and how many link layer addresses required for this router so which option would be correct obviously five okay what is the size of the ethernet link layer address so ethernet link layer address we have seen 48 bits but the options given here are based on bytes so how do we find that 6 bytes is equal to 48 bits so the option would be 6 bytes which of the following is not the multicast address so we have seen that if it is ending the second hexadecimal digit is even means that is multicast address the second hexadecimal digit is odd means that is the unicast address so which is not the multicast address so all these are even but only this is not even so this cannot be a multicast address so this will be the correct option for this question next address resolution protocol arp so this is one of the axillary protocol defined uh, in the in network layer actually this protocol works in between data link layer and network layer because it uh, provides a mapping between ip address and mac address so in between network layer and data link layer it operates so it accepts an ip address and maps the corresponding link layer address and this will be passed to the data link layer for some scenarios it will be used so when we uh, when the sender constructs a packet it has to fill the source mac destination mac source ip and destination ip obviously uh, if we want to send it to somebody we know the destination ip but we may not know the destination mac so within the lan if the machine is there then we can contact arp the host the host will contact arp then it will get the corresponding mac address to fill it in the packet if the destination is not in the same uh, lan we have to get the mac of the uh, router the local area network connected to a router so that particular router's mac address will fill so that packet will be delivered to the router and router will further forward the packet outside in that way arp works and every protocol is having its own message format so arp is also following its own message format so this is the format first 16 bits represents hardware type next 16 bits represents protocol type and uh, the next 8 bits represents hardware length next 8 bits represents protocol length and uh, another 16 bits represents the operation so the operation here means the same format is used for arp request and as well as arp response so if this field is having value 1 means that is a request packet value 2 means that is the reply packet and after this source hardware address that is source mac address and source protocol address that is source ip address if ip protocol is used in the network layer and next will be destination hardware address and following with that destination protocol address so normally 
we are requesting arp because we know the ip we don't know the mac so we know the ip of uh, destination uh, machine but we don't know the mac address of that so while sending a request this field will be empty or filled with zeros and when the response is coming back from the arp server the corresponding address will be filled arp server will uh, have the mapping of all the uh, machines in the lan so that will send us now an arp packet contains in hexadecimal or as follows so the hexadecimal values are given so they are telling that this is the contents of an arp packet identify the type of the packet can we identify the source mac address from the given values so the first question is type of packet so in the uh, packet format we have seen this is the field that defines what is the type of the packet whether it is a request packet or reply packet so we have to skip uh, 32 plus 16 so this many bits we have to skip so in hexadecimal four bits is equivalent to one hexadecimal digit okay so we have to skip 32 plus 16 so that is 48 so six bytes we have to skip six bytes for one byte we need two hexadecimal digits okay so 1 2 3 4 5 six six bytes we skipped okay the remaining these uh, these 16 bits okay so one hexadecimal digit is four bits one hexadecimal digits digit is four bits so 16 bits 0 0 0 2 so we have seen two is reply packet one is request packet so the type is request sorry response packet arp response packet now the next question is can we identify the source mac address from the given values so the immediate values represents the source mac address so yes we can identify after that what are all the values coming we don't know because it has given us dot 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 etc so with this we can identify source mac address but we don't know what is the destination mac address and all so that is not i mean source protocol address then destination mac address then uh, destination ip address so those are not given here so we can identify the source mac address so this is the source mac address so it is no it is not a request packet it is an arp response packet okay arp response packet because the value is 2 here and source mac address is the address given here now so we could see here this is response so the same values are filled in the packet format we could see here 0002 so this is what we identified this is the response packet and the first value source mac address was given in that question previous question that we have identified yes now if we see the request packet we could see the value is 0001 so this represents it is a request packet so we could see in request packet as we don't know the destination mac address that is what uh, that is why we are contacting arp so all zeros so arp request is given as a broadcast packet and arp reply is coming as an unicast while sending we don't know who is the arp server so commonly we are sending to all 
but while responding the corresponding server will only will respond all other uh, uh, hosts will not respond for it now what is the destination hardware address in the arp request packet so previously we have seen just to know this only we are sending it so we don't know it all zeros so that will be the answer all zeros so we could go back and see that all zeros in the request packet destination hardware address is all zeros thank you